400 years ago, brave settlers landed in a new world. They cleared dense forests, survived unforgiving winters, and befriended their Native American counterparts, all in the service of founding the very town in which you're standing right now. I'm Nathan Rutherford, and it is my distinct honor to introduce you to some of those men and women. But before I do that, does anyone have to go potty? All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Come on. Now, our journey begins with this man, Lawrence Rutherford, founder of this town and my patriarchal ancestor. Fun fact, I'm actually the last Rutherford to live here in Rutherford Falls. Anyone see the resemblance? I definitely see it. <laughs> it's in the jaw, eh, shoulders, through the chest, and probably some other places. <laughs> OK, thank you. In 1932, then governor of New York State Franklin D. Roosevelt visited Rutherford Falls. And he enjoyed a hot slice of Lucy Rutherford's rhubarb pie right here in this chair. I still get chills thinking about it. Ooh. And then he cried, I banish you all to hell, possums! <laughs> and thus ended the possum infestation of 1747. And Lawrence Rutherford gazed upon the majestic valley and thus declared, this is where we belong. And so, in 1638, he brokered a uniquely fair and honest deal with our neighbors, the Minnishanka, thus establishing our town. Now, the terms of the deal were laid out in this document. One of those terms was to honor the exact location the deal was made, which is why a century later, both parties came together and erected a statue of old Lawrence, affectionately known today as Big Larry. Question. Did they make a statue of any Minashanka? Great question. And bronze was very expensive at the time, so they really only had a budget for the one. <clears throat> so, but if you're interested in Minnesota history, then I strongly encourage you to visit their cultural center, which is run by my good friend Regan Well. Put that back, please. Thank you. Okay. No, no, no. See, these exhibits, they all need to remain historically accurate. It's very precise. What? It's funny. They're kissing. In what world is vandalism funny? No, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Why don't we visit Avery P. Rutherford's frame room? He believed that the frame, not the painting, deserves center stage. Come on. 